So I'm going to take advantage of a few minutes to tell you a little bit about this extraordinary lady who's come to be with us today. Um, that's Katie Kirk. I get the honor of introducing Katie as our keynote speaker today. Um, as I mentioned um, in a toast last night, that often a lot of amazing things happen on the heels of a, a real tragedy. Um, we heard about Chris's tragedy with uh, Felix Berta. We saw his picture this morning. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about Jay Monahan, who I had the pleasure of getting to know um, as a patient, as a person. Um, and I think one of the most incredible things a person can do is take from their own tragedy something, um, and rather than live in the sorrow of it, try and turn it into some type of positive force so that others don't live the same tragedy you've endured. Um, Krista, you've done that. Katie, you've done that. And the fact that the two of you are here sitting together, it's really um, a marvel, a marvel of um, what good could come out of, um, of um, the concept of prevention, of outreach, health and wellness, and so many lives between the two of you, really, so many lives have been saved. A number of us are in the medical field, we see patients day to day, and we feel maybe we can make a difference in someone's life and save a life even. But the two of you have saved hundreds if not thousands of lives, and many more to come. This global initiative is so absolutely essential um, because it transcends everything political, everything cultural. If you're a person, you have a risk for colorectal cancer, and that's what's so wonderful about it. It's really the fundamental of what makes us um, people, and that is that we want to be well um, for our friends and our family. That's something that Jay said. One of the quotes in the Monaghan Center is, nothing really matters except your friends and family, and truthfully, it really comes down to the relationships in your life, and we're so fortunate to have the two of you here. So I'm just going to mention a few amazing things about Katie. First of all, um, when CBS um, decided to make Katie an anchor, she became the first female um, ever solo anchor of a weekday network evening news show. And um, it's really been um, wonderful to see Katie in this role because just recently, I think just a few weeks ago, right Katie? She won a very prestigious award called the 2009 Walter Cronkite Award for Excellent in Television and Political Journalism. And for those of you who, um, I think this is not just a national phenomenon or election, but I think it was a, a global phenomenon. For those of you who saw her interview with Sarah Palin, it was really, um, really considered to be a, um, pivotal, a pivotal point in information about the campaign. And truthfully, a defining moment, as it said, in the 2008 presidential campaign. Um, and despite her many achievements as a journalism, she's been with kings and prime ministers and interviewed all kinds of people. She has said multiple times that what gives her the most satisfaction and one of her proudest moments is what she does for colorectal cancer, which is really an extraordinary thing for someone to say with the type of, um, type of people she's met. Um, she's done so much. Uh, she co-founded the National uh, the uh, Entertainment Industry Foundation's uh, National Colorectal Cancer Research Alliance. Um, she established the J. Monahan Center for Gastrointestinal Health, which I direct at New York Presbyterian Hospital, Wild Cornell Medical Center. She is an incredible um, uh, face for this disease and actually had her on-air colonoscopy um, in 2000, which was, at that point, a very unpopular thing to talk about, and as you'll hear about, transcended the ability for people to get screened for colonoscopy. And actually, um, Katie Kirk is really identified as being the modern um, reason why people really get screened with colonoscopy and for colorectal cancer. And it's actually named the Kirk effect. And so um, I know that's something she's very proud of also. And she's also an incredible fundraiser. She's raised more than $30 million to fund colorectal cancer research. And um, the thing about Katie, Unlike other people who might champion a cause, um, Katie keeps going after it, doesn't give up. The fact that she's here today with us just shows um, it's been 10 years now since uh, Jay has passed away. 
And 10 years later, Katie's going as strong as ever, trying to do whatever she can to eradicate this disease. So it's really a thrill and an honor, Katie, to introduce you at this international symposium. And I welcome you to tell us a little bit about your experience with colorectal cancer. Thank you.